Hello everyone, Charlie here from Sterling Power. Just to introduce the new, new as of June 2024, BB124865. This is our 750 watt DC to DC charger that will do both 12 volt and 24 volt in. So on the input terminals here, you can have 12 volt battery, uh, nominal voltage or a 24 volt battery, nominal voltage uh, to charge up a 48 volt uh, battery, lithium, lead acid, you name it, uh, rack style battery or just a 48 volt 15 string or 16 string style 48 volt battery. This is the unit designed to do it. Uh, this is our slightly smaller version. This is only 750 watts if you compare it with our larger 1500 watt model. You can see uh, the slight size difference there. In terms of actual volume, it's probably about 60-70% smaller, and it's about half the power. It has the reverse charge, so it charges in both directions. It will seamlessly go between 12 and 24 volts in. And in terms of performance, uh, you, you're looking at around 13 amps out uh, and about 50, at around about 56, 57 volts. So if you multiply those numbers together, you get about 740, 750 watts output. I just I just increased the load a bit. So there's the output current there, 13.1 volt, 13.1 uh, amps. And in terms of voltage, we are getting 56, 6, 56 volts out. Input voltage. 14.1 14.1 volts input and output we're getting 56.2 if you do the efficiency checks on it you're looking at around about 95% which is very good for a device that boosts voltage up like that so input current is 55 amps and at the voltage you're looking at 14 volts wasn't it so 14 volts 55 amps is about 760 watts and outputs around about 740, 730 watts, something like that. So yeah, you're looking at around 95% efficient. Uh, and that's it really. So uh, it's about half the power of the larger unit, um, but it's much smaller, less expensive, uh, and available now. All right. All the same features as before, so it shall work with the remote control. Uh, the remote control plugs in nicely like that and will give you uh, voltage and current features. Uh, you can uh, reduce the power rating on here. So if you don't want 12, 13 amps, you can go into the setting and then reduce it to, let's say, as low down as 65%, so then go to save and exit. And that should drop the current down. It will reboot now. And let's see what the current does. Let's actually use a clamp meter rather than the display. What current does that kick up in now? About 9 amps. So that's dropped the performance down by a few amps on the output. Uh, so, yep, yeah, so same features as before. Uh, everything's just modifiable by the remote control uh, and will charge lithium or lead acid. No problem. All right. Thanks very much.